I don't know what you think guys, but there's nothing really more exciting with Claire to an action pistol shooting and drawing his sidearm and shooting rapid fire. So what I'd like to help you with today is some safety aspects and what to think about and what not to do when you draw a handgun, okay? So if you got a moment, I'd like to explain it to you. First off guys, when you go for your, when you go for your pistol, you want to have some kind of a routine, a technique. What I always try to do is have a reference point. If I'm going to stand here with my hands naturally at my side, one of my reference points is going to be the contact of where my arm is to the butt of the pistol. Just kind of gives me a reference. I don't want to start here one time and start here. or always have a reference point. So to me, that's my reference. So when I go for the pistol, and if you're new to the game, what you want to try to do is break this down into segments. And you can break it down into how many segments it takes to make it right for you. I've done it enough to where I break it down to about three or four segments. So, Also, there's basically two different techniques on how to draw your pistol out of a holster. One of them I refer to lovingly as the Filipino technique. And I say that with great admiration. I do have to say the Filipino guys that compete are extremely proficient at drawing a handgun out of a holster and burning a first shot. So, And what they usually do... When they draw the handgun, they come in from the target zone like this, from the bottom. The American style, or the tactical style, is a little bit different, where when they draw the handgun, they bring it close to the body and then make an extension right under the dominant eye. Both gets the job, will get the job done. The Filipino technique is great if you're willing to practice three or four hours a day, every other day. It's wicked quick. If you're not, if you change equipment a lot, the, the U.S. style is a little bit more conducive to being uh, more applicable to different firearms. So I, either way works good. But the main thing, anytime you pull a pistol, a handgun of any kind out of a holster, what you have to be aware of is never mount the trigger, never put your finger in the trigger guard until the muzzle is parallel to the ground. That way, should something happen, and something should go wrong, the round is going this way and not this way toward you or your feet or somewhere unintentional. So when you draw your, when you draw your handgun, what you want to make sure is no matter how fast you draw, that you never put your finger in the trigger guard until it's parallel to the ground. That way, should something happen, it's going to be in a safe direction. You know, the last thing you want to do is get your gunfighter limp and mount this trigger. I've got an empty pistol here. If you mount that trigger, in the holster like this and snag the holster you can AD behind you, you can AD in your leg you can do a lot of wicked things that are not right so if you always remember not to put your finger in the trigger guard until it's parallel to the ground you'll have always a, a really safe practice so always remember that guy's safety also on a pistol like this, the m &P pistol is a great handgun there's no external safety so the only safeties you have is your finger and the face of the trigger so where a lot of guys get into trouble after they fire their last shot, they want to ride their finger back into the trigger guard. And then when you stick it in the holster, if your finger's in that trigger guard, you're going to sweep it to the rear and you're going to discharge it when you reholster. So the two critical aspects about drawing a gun out of a holster is never put your finger in the trigger guard until it's parallel to the ground and never leave your finger in the trigger guard when you go to reholster. So a good technique to, re to remind yourself when you finish shooting is you might... Take your finger out along the side of the frame like this, put your thumb behind the slide, so when you reholster, nothing's going to engage the trigger. Very important, keep that finger out of the trigger guard. Also, I've seen guys go to reholster, and it's uh, pretty scary. So what I'm going to do for you right quick, I'm going to disassemble this m and I don't even like to point an empty gun in my body, so go ahead and disassemble this right quick. And just use the frame. You see guys going for a holster like this, trying to work it into the holster. You can see it. if it had a barrel on it, it'd be pointing at my body, and then they holster. I don't want to do that, guys. I want to do like this. I don't want this thing to point at me, even though I think it's empty, even though I think my finger's out of trigger guard. I'd rather come into the holster from the outside and reholster. It just makes it a lot safer. It's a more enjoyable adventure. Also, I've seen guys, when, they, when they're learning how to draw, they come in for the piece like this, and they draw and they sweep their, their weak hand or their support hand and then they make the presentation to the target. Extremely dangerous, guys. So when you're working, 
you want to be aware of that muzzle never pointing at anything that you're not willing to destroy. So I don't know about you, but all my pieces and parts are pretty valuable. I don't want to have a hole in anything. So we're going to go ahead and reassemble the gun right quick. Okay, we're back. We're clear. So you want to break it into segments. A good, a good way to think about it, hands surrender or hands by your side. First thing you do is when you go for the gun is both hands work at the same speed. So one, even if I'm drawing from the surrender, both hands are moving at the same speed. And then two, you, you bring it close to your body. And then three, you can grasp it. And there's different ways of grasping it. I'm using the front of the trigger guard. So basically when I'm drawing, it's gonna look like this. I'm right here. And then when I make the extension, I'll start mounting the trigger. And when I'm fully extended, I'm in my firing position and I'll press the trigger to the rear. So break it into segments, go slow. If you're not accustomed to that holster position or that style of holster, don't try to be a Rambo and do it all in five minutes, guys. Do a lot of dry fire. Be safe on the range. Be very safe on the range. Okay, guys, I got my trusty blue gun here. And what I'd like to do is just go over with you through the numbers here, how to draw your pistol out of a holster. Paramount, guys, finger never in the trigger guard unless the muzzle is parallel to the ground and the finger always out of the trigger guard when you go to reholster. So also, don't point this thing toward your body at any time, when you, especially when you go to reholster. So come in from the side, you're going to be really nice, really safe, take your time. We're going to go through the numbers here and the whole idea of these numbers is to eventually phase them out after you get the hang of it. But when you start, it just gives you some reference points. So to me, with my hands by my side would be number one. Number two is when I'm going to grab the pistol and my weak hand is going to be doing something also. It's going to move at the same speed. So one, two, think of this as either touching your stomach or grabbing your belt. But the idea is to keep it away from the muzzle when you draw so you don't sweep your weak hand with the loaded pistol. So however you want to do it, the idea is to get it out of the way so you don't sweep it with the end of that muzzle. So to me it would be one, one, two, and then I'll start mounting the trigger finger here, three, and then four would be the final extension. And that can vary for any technique that you want, but the idea is just to set you up a practice routine. And if you have access to a, to a, to a totally inert firearm like this to train with, it's a great advantage if you stack it in a host or you do something stupid, you're not gonna accidentally fire it. So always finger out the trigger guard until you're ready to shoot, so. Let's go ahead and go live on it. I've got my trusty competition M&P here. All right, on the clock, we're just going to come up and make a shot. Here we go. I was an 81, about where I wanted it. Now, you, when you watch me do it, I might not have any one technique that we talked about. I've done this for about 30 years, so I've, got, I've gotten to the point to where I do what I do, and it's safe. So I'm going to go ahead and do it again for you. <laughs> I got a little jumpy. All right, it's cold out today. Here we go. 76 hundreds. Let's do one more. And a 77 hundredths of a second. So we're clear slide down holster. So we're running about a little over three quarters of a second. Hands by your side on a cold day, not bad, but the main thing here is it was safe. So there you have it guys, working out of a holster. I'm gonna say it again guys, safety is number one, speed is secondary. Do a lot of dry repetitions and make sure the thing, the thing is empty, whatever you got, a revolver, a pistol. Uh, another thing I didn't mention in previous was if you have an external safety, like a 1911 style pistol, Never depress the safety until the muzzle is parallel to the ground. That'll, that'll weigh, it'll buy, you, it'll buy you some time, even though you should have your finger in a trigger guard. If that safety's still on, it can, it, can, it, it can buy you the moment. So safety is paramount. Speed will come with practice. No technique is any one better than the other. Uh, come up with your own style. Just be aware, uh, everybody's an individual and they, and they see things different. So just have fun, be safe. And I'd like to also invite you to subscribe to Mitchellek.com like me on Facebook. We've got some good stuff coming, guys. Thank you.